Hi guys, this is Rosita Applebaum and I'm here with my April favorites and I'm just going to get started because I have a lot of things. If you're wondering, my top is from H&M. I got it a while back. It's just this polka dot top and my necklace is also from H&M and my rings are as well from H&M. So I'll get started with the non-makeup items first. So let's get started with, I guess, body. And the first thing is this Olay Moisture ultra moisture body wash with shea butter 24 hour moisture and I actually received this with a Venus Embrace um, razors kind of kit that my dad got me at like BJ's or something and it just came like a freebie and I actually really love the way it smells it smells florally but girly and it's really moisturizing like to the point where I put this on and when I leave the shower I don't have to like run to my room to put on lotion like it's not like that serious because my skin doesn't feel tight and dry so it really does the moisturizing aspect and it smells really good um, and it's lasted me a while so that's pretty good you just need a little bit and I just rub it all over my body so that's number one as far as perfume goes my favorite body splash is the very sexy temptation this also really smells, it has more like a musky smell, but it's really like sexy and it smells like what you would imagine a pretty girl smells like. Like when a girl passes by and you kind of like smell those lingering notes of like musky, I don't know, it just smells really good. And for $15, I think this is very highly worth it. So this is The Very Sexy Temptation by Victoria's Secret. For Perfume Perfume, I've been loving my Gucci Premier. And I got this because SMLX0 recommended it. It was kind of, I just bought it on a whim because I had a discount. And it smells so sexy. Like, this is a really good scent. If you like Gucci Guilty, you should definitely try this out because it is that similar, like, nighttime smell. But I use this all day. Like, it lasts really long as well. So, and the bottle is so cute. It's like gold and it just sits really pretty and has a little charm. So, I really like that perfume. As far as hair... Um, I only have three things. The first thing is this Catwalk TG Volume Boost Spray. It's the Your Highness Root Boost Spray. I got this at Ulta. It was pretty pricey, but if you have a coupon, it'll help. It's like a mousse kind of spray. You kind of spray it into wet hair from far. You rub it and then you blow dry. And I can definitely tell, like, right now I don't have it in. Um, that's why my hair is kind of flat. But when I put this on, you can definitely tell the difference. Like, my hair is a lot more volumized, and especially my bang area. I love this because it'll keep that hold. So, I really love this. It smells really good, and this will last me a while. Like, you really only need a little bit, and a little goes a long way. And you only use it when you wash your hair. So, if you don't wash your hair too often, this will last you, like, a long time. For dry shampoo, I've been loving this Batiste, Batiste Day Wild Sassy and Daring Dry Shampoo. This doesn't smell too good. I don't really like the smell, but the bottle is really cute, and it really does the job. I want to get a couple more of these Batiste dry shampoos. I want to get the one for dark hair because it does leave my hair a little bit white, but for the effect that it has, it really does volumize my hair. So even if my hair is just washed and it's kind of lacking volume, like if I didn't use this, I will spray this into my dry hair and kind of rub it in, wait a little bit, and then just like style it. So I really think this does... A great job for the price. I think it was around $7, so you can't beat that. I have the Oscar Blondie one, a dry shampoo. I have the Ojan one, and honestly, this one's way better. You can actually see a difference, and it's not just like a white powder in your hair. As far as hairspray, you guys probably guessed it. It's my Kenra Volume 25. This stuff is my holy grail, like, bomb.com, hands down, favorite hairspray. Now, it is very expensive. I think this was 20 bucks, which isn't that expensive. I mean, the L'Oreal Elnett's like 17, 18, so considering that that one's 17, this one is very similar, but it holds it even better, and it just smells so good. It smells like salon, and it's very high quality. You can find this at Ulta or at any salon that carries Kenra, and it's the 25, which is like the super hold. They also have like 20 and I think 15 but this is like the strongest hold which I like because I don't like to worry about my bang or my curls kind of dying throughout the day so I really love this you should definitely definitely check it out and invest in it it lasts you a while and I use this like a lot like I spray this in my hair not every day but if I'm styling it and if I'm not just putting it in a ponytail I use this and it's been lasting me a while and I lost the top which sucks but it's okay let's get started with face products my two favorite primers have been the pore professional by benefit and the Tarte clean slate poreless I've been using the clean slate a little bit more I usually put this one on my nose and this one around my nose and my forehead a little bit on my cheeks and honestly like 
when I don't wear it, I can definitely tell a difference. So I've kind of just gotten used to always wearing it. And so I just kind of got used to like the effects that it has on my face. It kind of just fills in your pores because nothing's really going to close them. But it will fill them in. And so you have to make sure that when you take off your makeup, you really cleanse it well. Because, you know, the makeup's going to stay in there. So this one's waterproof and line filling. This one's just oil-free, translucent, silky, lightweight. So I like putting this one on my nose and this one around. It just because this one's like a silicone -y finish and this one's like a little bit different. And I don't know, I just like this one concentrated here and this one and the rest of my face. So I've really been loving these two and you can find these both at Sephora. As far as concealer, I've been wearing my Pro Longwear Concealer and I have mine in the color NC20. A lot of you guys ask me what color I have my Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eraser. I don't have the dark spot when I have the regular one and my color is light pale which obviously isn't my color it's lighter than my skin but that's the one I use for that but in this one I'm an NC 20 this is a pro long where it's the pump one and this lasts me so long and I'm obsessed you only need one pump it's the only concealer that I've been using you guys know that I usually put correctors and layer it because I really like that bright under eye look but this, combined with the next favorite I'm about to tell you, have been like hands down my favorite. It does not crease, it doesn't like come off throughout the day, it just looks really bright and really luminous and I love it. So this is hands down my favorite concealer. I usually don't like MAC face products, but this one I really really do because it does the job. It doesn't break me out, obviously it's my under eye and yeah, it doesn't like accentuate any like wrinkles or anything down there so I love that and so to top it off this is what I've been like obsessed with and at first I liked it because it looked nice but up close it didn't look as good as it does now I found a trick on how to use this this is the bare minerals well rested powder it's what I'm wearing right now under my eyes and it's what I've been wearing in my last couple videos a lot of you guys have been asking for an updated um, concealer routine it's really just this and this bare minerals and it's just like a powder it's very similar to the Ben Nye powder, but this one's a lot brighter. It's like a whiter kind of look, but the Ben Nye is really good. I still use that on occasions, but this is really good for under your eye. Now, it is very dry. Like, if you put this on with a sponge, good luck, girl, because you're going to look like a dry cake patch. Dry cake patch. But if you use this with the Real Techniques setting brush, you are good to go. This brush, like, seriously transformed my powder application I am obsessed I'm gonna go buy like seven of these this is my favorite brush and I know this sounds really ridiculous and it sounds like I'm over exaggerating but I'm serious like I've never found a brush that I've seen like you put this on with a regular brush or even another Samantha Chapman brush and it's like eh, okay but this one like it's flawless now if you do have really dry under eyes I would recommend a um, a cream every night just to kind of you know fix that dryness but Oh, I'm in love with this brush. Like, you can use this with the Ben Eye, you can use this with MAC MSF, you can use this around your nose, but I feel like it goes perfectly right under my eye and I could just bring it up and it looks really good and I like to blend out and it just works so well. So this is like a match made in heaven. You can find this at Sephora or any Bare Minerals counter or Bare Minerals store. This is the well-rested one. It's a concealer. You can use this on your face as well, but it is a little bit dry, so I really recommend using it with this brush. You can find this at Ulta or online. Again, it's the setting brush. Next for face, I'm going to be talking about three blushes. Two are high-end and one is kind of like a dupe for one of them. So the first one is Warm Soul by MAC. I use Warm Soul when I want a more natural look. I am not wearing it on my cheeks right now, but I do have it on in one of my other videos. Um, it does have some glitter, it does have some shimmer. It looks very brown in pan, but when you put it on a couple layers, it will have some pinkiness, some warm, like, rosy colors. Like, it looks really flawless and effortless and blends really nicely. So this is like for my, you know, no makeup makeup kind of look. So I've really been loving Warm Soul by MAC. But when I do want, you know, like a pinky blush like I'm wearing today, usually I go for rosy color blushes. You guys know I'm always about peach colors, orange, rosy colors. But I ventured out and I tried NARS Orgasm. And at first I was like... No, girl, this is not worth the hype. It's not worth $30, honestly. Like, I didn't know why it was so hyped up. But after wearing it a couple of times, I kept looking at myself in the mirror and being like, Oh, girl, your blush looks nice. Like, oh, girl, 
Your blush looks nice, like... You know, it just, it kind of grew on me, and it does have shimmer, so you don't really need to wear a highlight. It's all I'm wearing today. I don't have a highlight on, and it has, like, gold flecks in it. It looks really pretty on, and I just use it with a Real Techniques blush brush. It's good for when I am doing, like, a really highlighted under eye, because this will kind of look kind of like natural because it's pinky so it's not so orange and like in your face orange because that's not too natural so I really like this blush it's orgasm and at first I was like not with it well not worth the hype but it really is a great blush I like it so if you don't want to spend $30 on this a dupe would be this bourgeois I think that's how you say it I didn't even look up the pink by NYX PB28 and now this one doesn't have any shimmers but it's a similar pinky color and what you can do is you can take this and like MAC um, Whisper of Guilt or Soft and Gentle Gold Deposit, mix it and put it on your cheeks and it's going to be very similar to this. And this is I think $5 at Ulta and if you have a coupon, girl, you're good. Like this is a really pretty pink. I put this a little bit over the NARS Orgasm because this is a matte color. So this is a shimmer, this is matte, but they're still really nice baby pinks. I usually never liked baby pinks, but I'm kind of liking it now. I've been loving L'Oreal True Match Powder in Cocoa. This is what I've been using as a bronzer, and I like this because it's very blendable. Unlike my other um, bronzers, my bronzers are, you know, meant for bronzing. This is a foundation, so I feel like if you're going to be putting this all over your face, they had to make the formula very soft, very blendable. So putting this on the outer edges of your face, leave it flawless. It looks very blended. It looks very natural. I don't know if you guys can tell, it doesn't look as strong in this video, and I really like it. It's very dark. You, they, they do have, like other colors like cappuccino and things like that but I had purchased one I think it was called cappuccino or so it was like two shades lighter than this but it was too like orange based so I really like this because it just is very flat brown and it's very very similar to MAC blunt if you don't want to spend the money on MAC blunt or it's very similar to the Too Faced chocolate soleil so I would check this out before getting any of those and then as far as eye makeup goes, I've been loving L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I don't know how a eyeliner can be voluminous, but it is very black and it is very smoldering. I mean, sometimes I do have a problem with this leaking or like going under my eye, but it's nothing concealer can't fix. Just make sure you put this on before you do your face makeup and then kind of wipe out everything and then put your concealer. But I wanted the Gourlain version for so long. Like, every time I go on Sephora, I'm like, oh, I want this. But it's 50 bucks, and I don't know, I just never really justified it. I think it's 50 or maybe 40 But still, every time I'm like, oh, I want it, but I never get it. I'm really liking um, black under and inside of my eye just because, I don't know, it just completes the look a little bit better. It makes you look more made up, which I've been liking because I haven't been wearing makeup almost, like, every day. Like, I wear makeup, like, once a week. So when I do wear makeup, I want it to be like, bam, you know? So I've been liking this. You can find this at your drugstore. Now, this next purchase is a mascara. It's my Chanel mascara. It's 30 bucks. It's the volume, and honestly, I think it's so worth it. It's very, very volumizing, very black, and it just feels exquisite. Like, you feel like a million bucks when you wear this. Like, even brushing it on, you're just like, ah, oh, like, it's just so beautiful. And this is the brush. It does have a short handle, but I personally like that because, I mean, I do have short hands, so. It is very volumizing. It is very buildable. One swipe of this and you have, like, to die for lashes. You should check out your Chanel counter. They will let you try on the mascara with a spoolie that is similar to the one that comes in your mascara, which I think is very, very smart. So, I would check out your counter to see if you like it. It is 30 bucks, but I justified it because... A girl can't have too many mascaras. Like, I love mascara. If I'm not wearing makeup and I just kind of want to look awake, I'll put on mascara and I feel a hundred times better. As far as eyeshadows, the two eyeshadows, again, that I've been loving are Venus and Foxy from the Naked Basics palette. Especially um, Venus. I especially love Venus on the inner corner of my eye, even if I'm not wearing eyeshadow. Like, today, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. I'm just wearing Venus on the inner rim of my eye. And I'm obsessed with it. It's so flattering. I love it. It's really nice. And I really recommend this palette. I haven't even touched my Naked 2 palette. Kind of regret buying it. But I'll tell you guys now. Don't buy the Naked 2 and just buy the basics. It's really worth it. My last three products. Okay, they're all lip products. Um, the first thing is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. And you guys are going to be like, wait a minute. That looks just like your Too Faced. It looks just like 
L'Oreal Ferris Nude. It is this Wet n Wild Bear It All, and I was on the fence about buying this for so long, and you know what? It was on 40% off, and I was like, oh, what the hell? But it's only $3 to begin with, so it's really worth it. Now, it can be a little bit drying, but just make sure you exfoliate your lips and you... It's a matte color, but you can put lip gloss over it, no problem. And it's just like a perfect color. I'll um, put this up so you guys... It's very brown. I saw that Andrea from Andrea's Choice used this, and she just like put it on effortlessly, and she loves it, and I really do think it's worth it. So please go out and get this one. Bear It All by Wet n Wild. I'm obsessed. It looks really natural, and for $3 or a dollar if it's on sale, like, you cannot go wrong with this lipstick. So I've been loving wearing pink lipstick, which is something really strange. I used to wear pink lipstick, like a baby pink lip, back in the day, like, in high school. But I've been loving it lately. I don't know, it just adds something more to your face. It's like, nude, uh, red, okay, it's like, whoa. So pink is just like an in-between, and I honestly, like, see a lot of girls on YouTube wearing, like, bright pinks, and I don't think I'm there yet. So I just went for Snob by MAC. I've had this for a while, and I never used it. Like, I just kind of let it sit there. I mean, I've gone through, like, three of these in high school, but... I've been loving it again. It's just MAC Snob. It's a great color to put over any nude color because it just kind of adds a little bit of like flavor, a little pink. But you can also wear it alone, no problem. I just love it over nude because it kind of like mixes together and it looks really nice. And then lastly, I've been loving my Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in Rosewood Shimmer. Yeah, it's like Rose Shimmer and it's just a lip glossy thing. It's very brownie nudie, but it's also a lip balm. And I love products like this because it's like a three-in-one. It's color, it's moisturizing, and it's shine. So it just is perfect. It is a little pricey. I think it's very well worth it. I think this was $22 at Clarins. And it makes your lips very plump because they're moisturized. And they just look a lot like bigger because the light is reflecting very nicely. So those are my favorites for the month. My favorite app for the month has been Fit Radio, F-I-T Radio. And I used to work out, I used to bring my iPod with me and I would like put it on shuffle and like I'd have to keep on pressing because some songs obviously weren't for working out. And I really don't have time to be making a mix for workout. You get what I'm saying? Like techno. Like I don't have time to sit there on my iTunes and put like genre and find what techno songs work. So this does the work for you and it's like bomb.com. Um, you do have to have an iPhone or iPod Touch or maybe even an Android. You can check to see if it's on Android, but it's in the App Store, so it's Fit Radio, and I really love it. I like this song. <laughs> Fit Radio is a really great app if you are just getting started with the gym and you need some motivation, or if you've been going to the gym forever and you feel like me, where you would like look in your iPod for songs and you just get so tired of looking and looking, this does the work for you, and it's free, so that's awesome. And as far as my favorite song goes, um, my favorite song has definitely been um, Girls Love Beyonce by Drake. Look, I know girls love Beyonce. Girls love to fuck with your conscience. Girls hate when niggas go missing. And shawty, you ain't no different. These days it's hard to meet women. Feel like my love life is finished. I've been Yo, this shit is so dope. Like, check this song out. So, those are my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you all for your support and your positive and negative comments. They're all love for me. And, yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Non-makeup. Um, or, yeah. Uh, I already said it bad. Okay. <clears throat> On uh, makeup. What am I saying? <sighs> and it has just like polka dots along the sleeves. And I get a text. Okay. Um. And then. Ooh. And it's kind of like good for my. <clears throat> or the gold um, highlight. I forgot what it's called. I forgot. What is it called? Gold deposit. Oh, I'm... <sighs> I can't talk today. <laughs> as far as a bronzer goes, I've been loving my Noriel. But I've been really do liking... I need some coffee. It's 10 o'clock right now. I'm, like, tired. <sighs> coffee break during filming. Woohoo! It's meant for... You know, I usually carry... When... Oh, what is that light? Okay. When I used to...
when I as far as songs go let me see if I have any favorite songs I definitely don't have a favorite app well actually I'm lying I do I want to work out right now <laughs> let me play it I'm such a loser all right anyway so it's like dope like I love this song let's see if it'll actually play on my phone come on phone work for me <laughs> probably not because it's me all right yeah that's a fill this is like major fail Get this like really YouTube really uh. all right let me play it on my iPod Yeah. Uh. 